Hello, I'm Iris from iris-impressions.com and welcome to Art Supply Junkie, a series of videos and blog posts in which I um, share with you my favourite art supplies and I tell you a bit more about you know, why I like them, what you can do with them and how I use them. Hello and welcome to a, a new episode of Art Supply Junkie. Um, today I'm going to be discussing oil pastels and oil bars or oil sticks. Um, amazing, amazing. And um, last week, remember, we discussed um, acrylic paint sprays. Very exciting. And uh, next week I'm going to be talking about um, um, acrylic inks and India ink. So inks, basically. Right, so today, oil pastels. I don't have very many actually, to be quite honest with you, but the other day at the art shops I bought some of these, the Sennelier, um, apparently Picasso, um, I think it was Picasso, went to the Sennelier guy and he said, I want something like this and in many colours, and then the guy made it. And that's what these are. And they come in many, many colours. I've got, um, oops, I've got about, let's see, let me show you what I've got. Right, so I've got these, I've got five colours, there we go, um, a kind of skin tone and then um, some more um, bright colours. Because they are, to be fairly honest, they, they are expensive. So um, I got just the colours that I know I like using and then I will probably buy a few more. But I do really um, recommend buying singles instead of just buying a whole box and then using like three colours and not using the rest. I mean, maybe maybe you work differently for me, but that's what would happen for me. So, anyway, oh my god, they're amazing. And then mixed with this, this is a Winsor Newton oil bar. It's um, soft mixing white. And this is the only one I bought because, again, they're just so expensive. Um, but this, combined with the um, with the oil pastels, it's just I can I have no words. It. Um, they're so creamy and it makes me want to play with the paint with my fingers and I just because you can't really use brushes or anything so you do have to either use the the pastel itself or your fingers to kind of smush it out and smudge it out so that's what I've been doing and it's very pleasurable so I'm really enjoying that and I really recommend trying that out with the um, finger kind of finger painting with the oil pastels and what's so great about the um, the oil bar adding the oil bar is when you add the oil bar and you smush it all in with the sennelier's they um, eventually they dry which is great if you're working in an art journal which I do mostly and obviously I don't want to close my art journal to stick together or to kind of smush so if you use the oil bar um, it is made of a material that dries I'd say 24 hours and it's fairly dry and a week and it's definitely dry so let me show you um, where I whoops um, very professional <laughs> where I use this so um, here I used um, I um, the stag itself is done with the um, with the oil bar and some acrylic paint actually like rubbed into it you can't really use acrylic paint on top of oil, but I've noticed that if you use this oil bar, because it's so kind of creamy, you can rub the um, acrylic paint in, and as long as you're like really mixing it, it seems to um, it seems to work okay. And then I use the kind of the oil pastel to outline it, and I love this. And then these faces were completely finger painted with. Um, oil bar and oil pastel and like they're definitely dry now so that's that's really awesome and then I started this face uh, which is also it's uh, under layer of acrylics and then oil pastel and oil bar on top this one isn't quite dry yet um, so yeah this is this is my new love uh, every single thing I do right now has got oil pastels and oil bar in it and I can't wait to get some um, to get some more and um, yeah, I'd love to know, have you used these? How do you use them? How do you enjoy them? Do you use a different brand? Always interested to know how different brands work. Um, so yeah, please let me know. And check in next week when I will be discussing inks. Uh, acrylic inks and, you know, all the sort of, India ink, acrylic ink. All the different sorts of ink I'm going to be talking about. Bye!